When I think of uh, work of the future, one of the trends that I'm most interested in uh, is the emergence of the so-called gig economy. Uh, but it really refers nowadays to a growing phenomenon in which people are not necessarily anymore uh, uh, employed in what we used to think of as regular jobs, but instead are making money uh, by working sort of one-off gigs, one-off jobs, one-off tasks. So we tend to uh, associate the gig economy with the rise of digital platforms like Uber and Lyft, but actually it turns out that this kind of freelancing uh, is really on the rise also in some pretty high-end uh, occupations, a lot of areas of uh, computer science, uh, the legal profession, and so forth. This is a really interesting moment uh, because <laughs> There's all sorts of new possibilities. This new trend can translate into greater autonomy, uh, greater independence, the capacity to be your own boss, make your own hours, and so forth. But um, for other people, uh, often at the low end, um, these more flexible forms of employment are not really a first choice. They're more likely to be sort of pressed into these uh, sorts of uh, jobs for lack of alternatives. Uh, and for them, of course, uh, it's a very different world. So for somebody like me, it's really an interesting moment uh, because we're at this kind of choice point where um, new types of uh, work are possible uh, that could either be extremely liberating or that can be actually um, leading us down a different road of, of heightened precarity. Um, and so I think it's a moment of great opportunity, but also one in which these technologies and these developments need to be steered.